Today I'm going to show you how to match the tempo of your project to match the tempo of your track. But first... <laughs> Greetings everybody and welcome back to another episode. I'm Kenny Monsters with Last Laugh Studios. Today we'll be working in Cubase. Setting the tempo of the project to match the tempo of your track. Why does it matter? Music is essentially a group of instruments, or vocalists, or both, playing or harmonizing together in time. Effects like reverb and delay rely on time in order to produce a desired result. Think of setting your project tempo like setting your alarm clock. If you don't set the time right, then you'll either wake up too late or too early, and you may not show up where you want to go on time. When I first started recording, I used to spend hours looking for the perfect preset for a reverb or a delay, and I could never find what I wanted, so I ultimately just settled on something I didn't really like. But it was all in the name of science. It's a learning process. A lot of my older projects sound really muddy. And by muddy, I don't mean what you would get in the low end when you have a bass and a kick drum clashing. What I mean is that it's over-delayed or over-reverbed. It just sounds washed out. Ultimately, most of my older projects sound very unprofessional. If I would have just followed this one simple step, I would have had better results. I want to share an example of an older track. The media middlemen and the managers, every entity in the industry, even janitors, better come correct in the way you approach and handle us, cause if you don't, you're taking a ride up inside an ambulance. That ain't a threat, it's a promise, I swear that I'll f***ing, I'll f***ing, wait, my lawyer told me saying nothing, cause I can buy an alibi for next to f***ing nothing. You hear how the effects are not in sync with all the music? It sounds muddy and the effects are all over the place. We can fix this by setting our project tempo to match our track tempo. So here's how you do it. Come down to the project tempo tab, type in our project tempo, which is 55 in my case, and boom. Let's turn on the click track so we can make sure it worked properly. That sounds good, but what about the vocals? industry as a whole. Well, the music industry as a whole really pisses me off, man, because... The vocals are out of sync. The reason for this is that the music was recorded or produced at the tempo we set our project tempo to, but the vocals were recorded at 120 BPM, which is Cubase default tempo when you open a new project. In order to fix this, you have to know that Cubase's tempo sync has two modes musical mode and linear mode. Musical mode latches the beginning of the audio file to the grid and stretches everything after it to match the project tempo you set, much like time stretch in FL Studio. But that's not what we want to do here. We want linear mode. Linear mode stretches the entire audio file, including its position, to match the project's tempo. Right now in our current view, you can't see the settings for the different modes. What we need to do is first undo everything we just did. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to put this back to 120. Everything goes back to the way it was. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust my viewership right here to where I can see these tabs right below the edit channel settings menu. You see you have toggle time base between musical and linear. And lo and behold, they're all in music mode. We need them to all be in linear mode. So the way we do this is literally click every single one, all the way on down and down and down and down. And the less tracks you have, the better because you won't have to click so many. All right, now every single one of these tracks is in linear mode and we know this because it was in musical mode, hence the musical note. Now, when we go back down to the tempo tab and we sync our project back to 55, everything will be in sync the way it should. We're gonna have to adjust that right there as well because everything moved. Now let's give it a try. For the media middlemen and the managers, every entity in the industry, even janitors, better come correct in the way you approach and handle us, cause if you don't, you're taking a ride up inside an ambulance. That ain't a threat, it's a promise, I swear that I'll. Now that our tempo is set properly, everything's in time. 
that means that when we go to make adjustments to our reverbs and our delays, those will also be in time. And as a result, they'll respond the way that they should when you change the settings. Save yourself the aggravation and perform this one simple task before you start recording your vocals. I promise you it'll make your life easier. Anyways guys, I hope that helped. Have a good one.